All right, hello everybody. Travis Chandler here with the next episode of Mass Effect Vanguard series. We just became a Spectre in the last episode, so... In this episode, we're gonna go and see about finding Saren. So here we go. We gotta go talk to Kahoku. Now that we're a Spectre. No, I'm waiting to. Congratulations on becoming the first human Spectre commander. I'm certain you'll be up to the challenge. I appreciate that. My name is Admiral Kahoku. It's about time the Alliance got one of our own in with the Spectres. We need people like you to deal with our problems. Problems, you say? I'm getting stonewalled by bureaucratic assholes. <laughs> Nothing new. Yeah, that's true. Me, Shepard. One of my recon teams was investigating some strange activity out in the Traverse. We lost contact yesterday. Now I can't get clearance to check it out. Suddenly, it's a restricted area. Suddenly. But that doesn't apply to you, Shepard. Spectres can go anywhere they want. You could find out why my team dropped out of contact. I'll look for them if I have time. Well, that's more than most will commit to. I'm going to stay here and see if I can find anything out through official channels. Won't hold my breath, though. I'll upload the info on where my team was last seen to your ships. Maybe you can get some answers. All right, cool. Thank you. I'm on a break. Talk to someone else if you need anything. I've got a lot on my mind. Maybe I can help. Hmm. Well, maybe you can. You're a soldier, right? Yeah, I'm you Commander Shepard. I'm not just some soldier. I'm a Spectre. A Spectre? I heard they were thinking about letting humans into the ranks. About time. Yeah, it is, isn't it? That means you can go anywhere you want, right? Even out into the Traverse? Yes. My brother's the captain of a ship called the Majesty. It was crossing the Traverse a few days ago when it disappeared. Just dropped right off the grid. And that usually means one of two things. They had massive mechanical failure, or they were attacked. Neither one of those options leaves a lot of hope. Exactly. I won't give up on my brother. Not yet. I've got the coordinates for the last transmission from his vessel. Give me the coordinates. I'll forward them to your ship right away. Please let me know as soon as you find him. Okay. So now we are going to head to Zsec maybe. No, we're going to go to the markets. We're going to buy some stuff, I think. No, I think I was looking for Conrad. But I could turn in the quest for Emily Wong. Word on the street is that you've been busy. Congratulations on taking down Fist. I was sure he was a big player in anything going on here. Did you find anything in his office that could help me? These OSDs might have the information you're looking for. <laughs> You've got this files? This could be even bigger than I'd hoped. Here, Commander, for your trouble. I had to kill people for these discs. They're worth more than you're offering. Exactly. I didn't tell you to kill Fist. But you're right. I suppose that I did ask you to help me, so... Here, 
It should be more than adequate. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should go see what's on these discs. You should have let me have a crack at it too, damn it. <laughs> and then we're gonna go see uh, Dr. Michelle. So later on we can do something with her. I'd so bone Dr. Michelle. I never properly thanked you for saving me from Fist's thugs, Commander. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't been there. Stick to medicine. You're not cut out for dealing with people like Fist. That's good advice. Let me take a look at what you have for sale. Of course. That medical exoskeleton, we end up getting those. We just can't afford them right now. So where are we going now? The Presidium. Going to the war deck. Okay. We must be going and talking to the um, CSEC officer and the Hanar. What I think we're doing. Yep. That, no, that's not what we're doing. We're... Yeah, that's what we're doing. I thought so. How can I convince my superior that I deserve a promotion if I cannot convince this annoying jelly to leave? I am not unreasonable. The Hanar is free to spew its nonsense once it purchases an evangelical permit. If you can't solve this problem, you don't even deserve to be in seasick. I didn't ask for your help, human. I can deal with this myself. Do you desire to learn of the Enkindlers? Or has the Honorable CSEC Officer enlisted assistance? The CSEC Officer is just doing his job. You're causing trouble. This one is too humble to suggest that the CSEC Officer is personally biased. This one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. There is no intent to cause trouble. I don't care about your intent. You're making all Hanar look like troublemaking zealots. This one does not wish to prejudice the listeners against the Hanar. You Hanar deserve what you get. You're either too snobbish or too stupid to follow simple rules. Right? This one will obey. It does not wish to prejudice other species against the Hanar. This one departs now and will not intrude upon the Presidium again. Good. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> I see the Hanar has left. Thank you. Somebody needed to set that thing straight, and it obviously wasn't going to be you. Exactly. You have already demonstrated your ability. I acknowledge it, and I will learn from your example. Here, for your assistance in this matter. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should report to my superiors. There we go. Now... We are heading to CSEC, yep. We're heading to CSEC now, alright. I believe we're going to head down to see the, yep, the, um, requisitions officer. One sec, looking you up. Commander Shepard, here with the Alliance Military. First time on the Citadel, that about right? Yep. Who wants to know? Just checking for CSEC records. I can only sell goods to authorized personnel. So, will you be purchasing anything today, Commander Shepard? Show me what you've got. Sounds good. Just let me set you up. Oh, this must be a mistake. System's telling me to offer you our select stock. Spectre? Well, I heard about that, but I didn't realize it was you. Sorry, Commander. Just show me what you've got. 
I'll open the rare stocks for you, Commander. Enjoy. Now those HMWSRs, those are Spectre weapons. The best weapons in the game. We'll buy those later. Do I buy that amp? I do. I think I do. Yep, I do. I think I buy the... Well, I can't buy the Omni tool, even though it's better. And of course, I upgrade the Solaris amp. There we go. All right. Now I think we head out of here. In other news, Exogenicorp is still denying reports that one of their survey teams has gone missing in the Hades Gamma Cluster. When asked why communication with the survey team was suddenly cut off last week, company officials refused to comment. Did they now? That one is a quest, and that's the only way to get it, is to hear it from the news in the elevators. I've got big news for you, Shepard. Captain Anderson is stepping down as commanding officer of the Normandy. The ship is yours now. Cool. She's quick and quiet, and you know the crew. Perfect ship for a Spectre. Treat her well, Commander. This isn't right. The Normandy belongs to you. You needed your own ship. A Spectre can't answer to anyone but the Council. And it's time for me to step down. What kind of leads do we have? Saren's gone. Don't even try to find him. But we know what he's after. The conduit. He's got his Geth scouring the Traverse looking for clues. We had reports of Geth in the Pharaoh system shortly before our colony there dropped out of contact. And there have been sightings around Noveria. Find out what Saren was after on Pharos and Noveria. Maybe you can figure out where the conduit is before he does. Anything else? We have one more lead. Matriarch Benezia, the other voice in that recording. She has a daughter, a scientist, who specializes in the Protheans. We don't know if she's involved, but it might be a good idea to try and find her. See what she knows. Her name's Liara, Dr. Liara Tassoni. We have reports she was exploring an archaeological dig on one of the uncharted worlds in the Artemis Tau Cluster. Sounds like we should head for the Artemis Tau Cluster. It's your decision, Commander. You're a Spectre now. You don't answer to us. But your actions still reflect on humanity as a whole. You make a mess and I get stuck cleaning it up. I'll take care of Saren. You take care of the political fallout. Not exactly the answer I was looking for, Shepard. Remember, you were a human long before you were a Spectre. <laughs> I have a meeting to get to. Captain Anderson can answer any questions you might have. Well, we don't have any questions. We're going to head on out of here. After we inspect the weapons, there we go. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. Decontamination. Heard what happened to Captain Anderson. Survives a hundred battles and then gets taken down by backroom politics. Just watch your back, Commander. If things go bad on this mission, you're next on their chopping block. Saren's out there somewhere, and we're gonna find him. Everyone on this ship's behind you, Commander. 100%. Intercom's open. If you got anything you want to say to the crew, now's the time. Now we're doing this my way, damn it. Listen up, Normandy. This is your Commander speaking. We have our orders. Find Saren before he finds the conduit. And I refuse to let anything get in the way of that mission. The Council wants to ignore this. That's no surprise. They've never helped us in the past. No reason they'd start now. But we don't need their help. We can do this on our own. Exactly, damn it. None of the other species has the guts, grit, or balls to deal with this. So it's up to us. We're the only ones who can stop Saren. I swear to you all, we will stop him. Well said, Commander. Captain will be proud. The captain's not here. I'm in charge now, Joker, and time's wasting. Get this bird in the air. Yes, sir. Yeah. 
All right, we're just looking for free experience is what I'm looking for here. May as well, because... You know, you need all the levels you can get. And I think we're going to talk to everyone, too. Hey, Commander. Looking for some extra supplies before you head out? What have you got? Whatever you want. Armor, weapons, mods. It's not standard Alliance issue, but that's, that's not necessarily a bad thing. thing. Well, as long as you don't mind paying for it. Why should I pay you for my weapons and armor? My stuff doesn't come from the Alliance. I have to purchase it myself, and it's not cheap. Hell, the licenses alone have set me back more than I'd like. But no licenses, no goods. Without the goods, I'm out of a job. Let's right. You bet, Commander. And so he also sells the Spectre weapons. But those licenses I bought, they're for him. So now I'm selling all my junk. Oh, maybe not. Maybe I'm not selling all my junk. I don't know why. I think I'm, um... I think I was just checking equipment there. I'm not for sure. Not right now, thanks. No problem. Okay. This is not the way to look for your junk. Okay, and then I skipped that. Okay, I thought I did. On board, Commander. I knew working with the Spectre would be better than life at CSEC. Have you worked with a Spectre before? Well, no, but I know what they're like. Spectres make their own rules. You're free to handle things your way. At CSEC, you're buried by rules. The damn bureaucrats are always on your back. Yeah, that is true. The Spectre does have its advantages. Exactly my point. If I'm trying to take down a suspect, it shouldn't matter how I do it, as long as I do it. Bingo! But CSEC wants it done their way. Protocol and procedure come first. That's why I left. So you just quit because you didn't like the way they do things? There's more to it than that. It didn't start out bad, but as I rose in ranks, I got saddled with more and more red tape. CSEC's handling of Saren was typical. I just couldn't take it anymore. I hate leaving. You did the right thing. Life's too short to sit around waiting for things to happen. Bingo! You're probably right. Either way, I plan to make the most of this. And without CSEC headquarters looking over my shoulder, well, maybe I can get the job done my way for it. Yeah, that does sound good to me. Because you do your job well, you're free to go about your business as you see fit. Thank you, Commander. Nice ship you've got, Shepard. What can I do for you? What's your story, Rex? There's no story. None? Go ask the Quarian if you want stories. Yeah, don't be an ass. You Krogan lived for centuries. Don't tell me you haven't had a few interesting adventures. Well, there was this one time the Turians almost wiped out our entire race. That was fun. They tried the same with us, but we fought them off. It's not the same. It seems similar enough to me. So your people were infected with a genetic mutation? An infection that makes only a few in a thousand children survive birth? Yeah, that's called the genophage. Destroying your entire species? You're still here. It can't be all that bad. I don't expect you to understand. But don't compare humanity's fate with the Krogan. Sorry, Rex. I wasn't trying to get you upset. Your ignorance doesn't upset me, Shepard. 
As for the Krogan, I gave up on them long ago. Did you now? Phage infected us, but it's not what's killing us. So long, Rex. Shepard. Okay, there we go. Your ship's amazing, Shepard. I've never seen a drive core like this before. I can't believe you were able to fit it into a ship this small. I'm starting to understand why you humans have been so successful. I had no idea Alliance vessels were so advanced. I don't like the idea of aliens studying the architecture of Alliance ships. We're on the same side here. My people have more reason to hate the Geth than anyone, remember? Yeah, that is true. For being a little excited. I never dreamed I'd get a chance to travel on a ship as advanced as the Normandy. I had no idea you found ship technology so interesting. It comes with being a Quarian. The migrant fleet is the key to the survival of my people. Ships are our most valuable resource. But we don't have anything like this. We make do with cast-offs and second-hand equipment. We just try to keep them running for as long as we can. Some of the fleet's larger vessels date all the way back to our original flight from the Geth. Damn, that's 300 years ago. Using ships that are three centuries old. They're constantly being repaired, modified, and refitted. They aren't pretty, but they work. Mostly. We've tried to make ourselves as independent as possible on the flotilla. Grow our own food, mine, and process our own fuel. But some things we just can't make on our own. A patch to maintain the hull integrity requires raw materials we just don't have. That's why our pilgrimages are so important. Ah! See you later. See you later. I know what you're thinking. Oh, you didn't talk to Ashley? It's because all she'll tell you is, oh, I need to get my duty squared away, but I'll talk later. So I believe we're finally going to leave the Citadel. Hey, I leveled up just by walking up to the galaxy map. What are we going to get? Looks like... Intimidate and charm. Yeah, okay. Just so I can get store discount. All right. Yep, I thought so. We're going to. The uh, dig site. kills me every time okay I am going to be exploring all the planets and all the um, asteroid belts that's how you get resources and the resources are for credits and experience like that right there um, if you search the asteroid belts you find asteroids you can scan for um, money And it looks like there's nothing in this one. And 
gonna check that one. Survey. And now to collect your money and experience, you have to go all the way back to the ship. Theorem, that's where Liar's dig site is. I wish this was a screensaver. We're gonna take... Come on, that's not a balanced team. But we took them. All right. So this is just pretty linear. You don't want to go into the lava for obvious reasons. The floor is lava. So we're just driving my life away, looking for a better way. Oh, me. <laughs> oh, we got company. There, we got him. I know I could have outran him, but fuck it, I wanted to kill him for the experience. Well, in a minute. There we go. Then assault training to unlock tactical. Okay, armor. And then Mr. Garris, we get advanced stamping. So we can upgrade him to medium armor. Okay. And then I think we do assault training here, don't we? Nope, we do assault rifles so I can unlock um, sniper rifles for him. Okay, we unlock shotguns. Then we do that just to get him carnage. There we go. Turning the Mako around is really hard to do. You control it with the camera. That's how you control to how to turn it and all that. There, we got the destroyer. A 
blow him to smithereens. And then it's over here, but we're going to go explore the entire area for items. There's a free item. Yeah, I knew there was an enemy in here. Well, you say that now, but... Nope, that ain't the way to go, but that's okay. We'll open it anyway. Why not? why I didn't cut this running part out, but that's okay. That's okay. Three items, I'll take them. More free items. I'll take them. Mr. Erdnot, I think, gets a new shotgun. Yeah, he does. Okay, that's the one we want to open. Get out of the way, Rex. Now we come over here to the other side. I believe there's an enemy in here and a an item. Nope, no enemy, and there was no item either. Where's Garrus, damn it? Ha! Stupid ass got stuck behind the Mako. That's okay. Kill me another armature. Always kill your enemies. You know, always get the experience. You know, that way you can level up. I mean, I know you don't have to kill every enemy, but...
But we're gonna do Spectre. Yes, we are. We're gonna do Spectre. Just so I get Unity. All right, advanced warp for you. It's the next level. We can open up throw for Rex. Oh, another drop ship. Use the hill to your advantage. See how I'm using the hill? I'm using the slant to my advantage. Oh, we leveled up again. Spectre, yes we are, for Unity. You, we're gonna get sniper rifles, it looks like. And it looks like I'm gonna uh, advance um, overkill, for cares. We unlock throw, but we don't open it yet all right All right, and looks like we get out and walk from here. Fine with me. See, that's why I don't like using the hot bar when it comes to my powers. The only time I like using it is for barrier, you know? Because you don't have to aim for that. We kill the snipers.
There we go. Pretty much we blast our way up here. That's how you do that. Those stupid me should have saved it for what's coming up. Welcome to Jurassic Park. And while we're waiting, we'll use Unity. You always take down the armature first. Always take the armature down first. He is a pain in the fucking ass. There we go. We got that down. We want that sniper out of there. Sabotage your ass. That shock trooper just walked right up to me. Look at that. We kill that bastard. There, just to make sure the bastard was down. There, we got him. There's one more. Wherever the fuck he is. This game is so glitched. It is. It's so fucking glitched. I'm not the only one that has this problem because I have looked online and I've seen other people have this problem. I don't understand why Bioware, they put all this time and money into this version of the game and yet they still can't fix the fucking glitches with the game because this, this glitch happened in the original as well. We'll just throw him down. <laughs> we made him fall to his death. <laughs> Spectre training? 
you really want to max out Spectre Training. But you also want to get up to medium armor as fast as you can, too. So, I'm thinking that's what I do. Yeah, that's what I do. Um... Assault training for you? Is that what I do? No, I do that, and that, just like I thought I w I did. And come on, you got Rex to do yet? Come on! You didn't do Rex, dummy. Okay, we're clear. Now we go down the elevators. Aside from the citadel, I mean. Here we go, assault drones. Sterile light. Protheans sure build things homey. Damn right they did. Machine. Quit shouting. This place is crawling with Geth. Sorry, I am a little... Look, my name is Dr. Liara Tassoni. I am an archaeologist. Listen, this thing I'm in is a Prothean security device. I cannot move, so I need you to get me out of it, all right? There's some kind of propulsion field in the way. It's a Prothean barrier curtain. I knew it would keep me safe from the Geth. When I turned it on, I must have hit something I wasn't supposed to. I was trapped in here. You must get me out, please. Any suggestions on how we can help? There is a control in here that should deactivate this thing. You'll have to find some way past the barrier curtain. That's the tricky part. The defenses cannot be shut off from the outside. I don't know how you'll get in here. Be careful. There is a Krogan with the Geth. They have been trying different ways to get past the barrier. Okay. We push you down. We blow you up. And that should be the end of them. There we go.
stimulant pack. We need those if you're going to be a biotic or um, tech user. They uh, reduce your cooldown. Oh, we put on the gay armor for... <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what I put on here. Um, the shock absorbers, those are good too, because later on you run into biotic enemies and they use uh, lift and throw. And you don't want to get hit by throw, you really don't. And I. I think we're set up here. Avenger 3. We need that. But we go Avenger for Rex as well. A Shimitar, we definitely need that. Okay. And what do I put on him? All right. Yeah. There we go. I think we're set up here. Except for you, we need to do you. There we go. Yep, okay. This is kind of hard to do. You got to know the sequence, and I never remember it. There it is. All right. Hello, Liara. How did you get in here? I didn't think there was any way past the barrier. The pure firepower. With the mining laser. Of course. Yes, that makes sense. Please, get me out of here before more Geth arrive. That button over there should shut down this containment field. Not so fast, Shepard. You sure she's on our side? Her mother's working with Saren. I am not my mother. I don't even... I don't know why Benezia joined Saren. I don't want anything to do with that Turian bastard. If she was with Saren, the Geth wouldn't be trying to kill her.
Any idea how we get out of this place? There is an elevator back in the center of the tower. At least I, I think it's an elevator. I think it's an elevator. Come on. I, I still cannot believe all this. Why would the Geth come after me? Do you think Benezia is involved? Saren's looking for the conduit. You're a Prothean expert. Obviously he wants you to help him find it. The conduit? But I don't know... What the hell was that? These ruins are not stable. That mining laser must have triggered a seismic event. We have to hurry. The whole place is caving in. Joker, get the Normandy airborne and lock in on my signal. On the double, mister. Aye, aye, Commander. Secure and away. ETA eight minutes. If I die in here, I'll kill him. <laughs> yeah, if I die in here, I'll kill him. Yeah, how are you going to do that from the afterlife? See, it makes you wonder if this um, ruin was like a prison or something for the Protheans. Reason you're in my way. The same reason you're. Here. Hey, I got Turian ally. Thanks for getting rid of those achievement for us. Had the doctor over. Whatever it is you want, you are not getting it from me. Is this really the time? The atmosphere is perfect for our life and death struggle. Kill them. Spare the Asari if you can. If not, doesn't matter. Now get up and fucking kill him. There you go. Boom, we blew him out off his feet. Go, go, go! We gotta get out of here! Drop your socks and grab drop your cocks and grab your socks! Come on! Too close, Commander. Ten more seconds, we would have been swimming in molten sulfur. Yeah, that's the true. He isn't equipped to land in exploding volcanoes. They tend to fry our sensors and melt our hull. Just for future reference. Right. We almost died out there, and your pilot is making jokes. <laughs> Sometimes Joker's a real ass. Just try to ignore him. I see. It must be a human thing. I don't have a lot of experience dealing with your species, Commander. But I am grateful to you. You saved my life back there, and not just from the volcano. Those Geth would have killed me or dragged me off to Saren. What did Saren want with you? Do you know something about the conduit? Only that it was somehow connected to the Prothean extinction. That is my real area of expertise. I have spent the past 50 years trying to figure out what happened to them. I've got my own theory on why the Protheans disappeared. With all due respect, Commander, I have heard every theory out there. The problem is finding evidence to support them. The Protheans left remarkably little behind. 
It is almost as if someone did not want the mystery solved. It is like someone came along after the Protheans were gone and cleansed the galaxy of clues. But here is the incredible part. According to my findings, the Protheans were not the first galactic civilization to mysteriously vanish. This cycle began long before them. What cycle? What are you talking about? The galaxy is built on a cycle of extinction. Each time a great civilization rises up, it is suddenly and violently cast down. Only ruins survive. <sighs> the Protheans rose up from a single world until their empire spanned the entire galaxy. Yet even they climbed to the top on the remains of those who came before. Their greatest achievements, the mass relays and the citadel, are based on the technology of those who came before them. And then, like all the other forgotten civilizations throughout galactic history, the Protheans disappeared. I have dedicated my life to figuring out why. You're not much of an expert, Doctor. The answer's been standing in front of you the whole time. The Protheans were wiped out by a race of machines. The Reapers. The... the Reapers? But I... Fear the Reaper! How do you know this? What evidence do you have? There was a damaged Prothean beacon on Eden Prime. It burned a vision into my brain. I'm still trying to sort out what it all means. Visions? Yes, that makes sense. The beacons were designed to transmit information directly into the mind of the user. Finding one that still works is extremely rare. No wonder the Geth attacked Eden Prime. The chance to acquire a working beacon, even a badly damaged one, is worth almost any risk. But the beacons were only programmed to interact with Prothean physiology. Whatever information you received would have been confused, unclear. I am amazed you were able to make sense of it at all. A lesser mind would have been utterly destroyed by the process. You must be remarkably strong-willed, Commander. Okay, this isn't helping us find Saren or the Conduit. Of course, you're right. I am sorry, my scientific curiosity got the better of me. Unfortunately, I do not have any information that could help you find the Conduit or Saren. Looks like we wasted our time here. Right. Commander, Saren might try another attempt on my life. I'd feel safer if you let me stay on your ship. Besides, my knowledge of the Protheans might prove useful later. And her biotics will come in handy when the fighting starts. We've already got every other non-human species on board. Might as well add an Asari to the team. Thank you, Commander. I am very grateful. Oh, I am afraid I am feeling a bit lightheaded. When was the last time you ate or slept? Dr. Chakwa should take a look at you. It is probably just mental exhaustion, coupled with the shock of discovering the Protheans' true fate. I need some time to process all this. Still, it could not hurt to be examined by a medical professional. It will give me the chance to think things over. Are we finished here, Commander? Go see the doctor. The rest of you, dismissed. Mission reports are filed, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. We've received your report, Commander. I understand Dr. Tassoni is on the Normandy. I assume you're taking the necessary security precautions. Don't tell me how to do my job. You are free to act as you see fit, Commander. Right. Our role is to offer guidance and advice. It's up to you if you're smart enough to listen. I don't need this. <laughs> Communications cut, Commander. I don't know why that's so funny, but it is. But that's going to be it for episode three of Vanguard series. So hope you all had fun in this. We got Liara on our team now, and I will see you all in episode four.